Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon 101.9 Bull Whips. We're going to look at, at different types of bull whips today and some construction, and I promise the video won't be as long as snake whips. The first whip maker I want to look at today is Mike Murphy. Uh, bull whips either are natural belly, and typically the Australian braiders will make a natural belly bull whip unless you specify that you want shot as opposed to American bullwhip makers, which tend to uh, like to put shot in their bullwhips unless you ask for a natural belly bullwhip. So I have two Mike Murphys here. This one is shot loaded, and this one's a natural belly. If you compare the profiles, or I'm gonna call it the bore, or the diameter of these two whips, you'll see that the build that has the shot load in it is a little bit thicker, and the build that is natural belly is a little more of a streamline or, or a slim profile build. So for construction, we have uh, a Turk's head, uh, a stiff handle, pineapple knot, the thong of the whip. Then we have the keeper or a, a, a fall hitch, the fall itself, and then it's finished with a cracker. We're gonna take a close-up look at two more of Murphy's whips. Uh, these are little three-foot bull whips, and I want you to compare. One of these is shot loaded, and one of these is unloaded, or natural belly. You have your Turk's head, a little five-inch handle, pineapple knot, and then you'll see one is finished with whips, whip maker's plat, or a straight herringbone, and the other is a variegated herringbone down to the keeper, the fall, and of course, the cracker. So if I asked you which one of these is shot loaded, gotta get out of the way of the ceiling fan, and which one is natural belly? Invariably, when I hand these to somebody to crack, they pick the natural belly one as the easiest whip to crack. For some reason, American whip makers think that you have to have shot and a bull whip to make it crack, and that's not true. The taper of the whip, the accelerating taper of the whip is what makes it crack. These two whips, I call these woodies because they have wooden handles. Uh, Skip San Sansui makes these. He calls this build a mini bull whip. It's a three foot bull whip. He'll make these as four foot, and then this is his bull whip build. And you'll see again, this bullwhip build has got a heavier shot load than this one. It's going to be a heavier whip to throw. Uh, but Skip makes probably the, the nicest woody out of, uh, out of all the whip makers. The other whip maker we're going to look at very quickly today is Peter Jack. And I've got three examples of his bullwhips. Uh, this bullwhip, you'll notice that over time, this was made in 2001 and his heel knot was kind of squarish. And then he started rounding it off about a decade later. This was 2014 and uh, 2015. So we have loaded, or his target build, target bull whip build, unloaded or natural belly. And this is his Tom Meadows build. This particular whip, the Tom Meadows whip, I named. It's my Jesus Jack whip because I pulled it out of the box when he shipped it to me and I threw it and it went right where I pointed it and I said Jesus Jack. So it's my Jesus Jack whip. So that concludes bull whips today. We're going to have a lot more on bull whips, but we're going to break it down and chunk it. Today's key word is dragon tail.